Jobs, baker, printer, van driver, and video salesman. Hobbies, photography, walking, and reading. Instruments played, drums, percussion, and piano with one finger. Most prized possession, a pearl earring. Favorite breakfast, Cocoa Pop. Morning, John. Hello. How is that looking at the video? Well, it's really interesting. It's amazing. I haven't seen it for about a year. You know what I like is you play piano with one finger. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think mean, that's great. Only just as well. We don't often see you away from the rest of the boys. Where are they today? Well, they're all in the studio at the moment working on uh, a new single, which we're going to have out probably in June. Ooh. I should be there, so I've got to get back there. Okay. <laughs> well, we won't be long. We won't keep you that long. Uh, now, you've just recently come back from filming the new video. Mm -hmm. Where did you do it? Well, we did it in Twickenham, yeah. which is really nice because I'm a bit of a, an old English film buff, you oh, see. Yeah. And Twickenham was where a lot of the old, uh, not Ealing comedies, <laughs> there was no Ealing, but a lot of the old British films were done there. Yeah. And so it was uh, very nice for me to go there. It's a and lovely the, studio. The single, it's a miracle, isn't it? Yeah. Lovely. We've got lots of Culture Club fans. Would you answer some questions for yeah, us? Certainly. Here we go. Hello, John. My name is John too. What do you have to do to be a drummer? Uh -huh. <laughs> Hello, John, too. Well, and how do you be a drummer? The first thing to do is probably buy a pair of drumsticks, just a cheap pair of drumsticks. And then if you can persuade your poor parents to buy you a very cheap drum kit, that would be the next thing. And once you've done that, uh, the best thing to do is probably listen to records and try and listen very carefully to what the drummer's doing and try and play along. But you don't actually even need a drum kit. All you need is a pair of sticks you can play on a tabletop or a biscuit tin or a rubber mat, anything where the sticks can bounce and just listen very carefully and try and copy what he's doing and then try and make things up for yourself. But also, it's worth having lessons. But first of all, you should see if you've got the right thing to be a drummer, which is basically just a good rhythm and you can just pick it out. If you can dance, Ooh. you can play drums. Great. What age did you start drumming? Um, I was about 14. It's funny, my brother used to be a drummer. Yeah. And um, he used to leave. He had a very cheap old drum kit in the roof and I used to sneak up there. I used to bunk off school in the afternoon when my parents were out working. I'm very glad you did too. <laughs> Another question. Hello, John. My name's Linton. How did you meet boy George? Linton? Hello. I met George, it's funny, I met George about four times before we started the band, but I didn't realise because he used to look so different. I met him at a party once and I thought he was Susie out of Susie and the Banshees. <laughs> and uh, I also met him when he used to work in a shop in the King's Road. Um, but I didn't recognise him then either. But the first time I met him properly was when we started the band, which was in um, about two years ago. I met him in this very old strange warehouse that had theatrical objects everywhere, which is where he was rehearsing at the time. And uh, I met him and he was wearing this really nice makeup and he stood up and shook my hand, said, hello, mate. And uh, we started from there. Been mates ever since? We've been mates ever since, yeah. <laughs> now, you've recently just won a Grammy Award, am I right, in America? Yeah, we did, yeah. We've... We were very honoured, actually. Winning a Grammy in America is... I don't know what the equivalent is over here, but it's, uh, it's quite big news, so we were delighted. Are you quite surprised at how well the Culture Club sound travels? Because, I mean, you're popular everywhere, aren't you? Well, I think that pop music is, the, is the, uh, the international language. I think it's the one thing that transcends all, all language mm. barriers all over the world. A song is a song, and everybody appreciates that. Yeah. Um, I love America as well. England's my favourite, obviously. Britain is my favourite. Uh, good. Another question, John. Hello, John. My name's Stephen. I've broken drum kits before. Have you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have, Stephen. Actually, uh, a truth here. When I was in the Damned, I actually used to throw my drum kit off the stage. It was very irresponsible. It was only a cheap one. But I don't uh, advise you do that if you're ever on a stage. But I have broken drums sometimes, but not anymore. I don't play as hard as I used to, because I used to stand up on the drums and, and hit them and walk all over them, you know. But I don't do that anymore. Oh, good. <laughs> Another question. Last one, John. Hello, John. My name is Derek. Where did you shoot your new video? Hello, Derek. We shot the new video when well, Twickenham. Oh, yeah. We talked about it already, <laughs> haven't we? Well, Derek, there you are. In Twickenham, which is, as you know, down on the river near Richmond, and it's a lovely old studio. What is the B side then, the one that you're going to record today? Uh, well, it's not for, obviously, the singers, for the next single. Oh. It's a rock and roll track. It's a culture club rock and roll. Ooh, that sounds wonderful. It will be revealed. Listen, thank you ever so much for coming in and lots of luck for the new singles. Okay, thank you. Time for It's a Miracle. <laughs> Bye, John. Bye. -bye. Bye.